The Naga peace talks resume. Political controversy erupts over the Meghalaya Regulation of Gaming Act and a unique floating photo exhibition in Manipur. I'm Angna Chakrabarti and I will tell you the key developments from the Northeast region this week. After a nearly five-month hiatus, the peace talks between the Government of India and the National Socialist Council of Nagalem, Isaac Muiva, resumed on Wednesday. The NSC and IM agreed to resume talks after meeting members of the core committee on the Naga political issue, which comprises the Nagaland Chief Minister Nefurio and Deputy Chief Minister Y. Patton. Now, prior to the meeting, these political leaders from Nagaland had met Home Minister Amit Shah to discuss issues around the peace talks. On Saturday, T.R. Zelyang, the co-convener of this committee, told reporters that they had conveyed what Shah had had to say to the rebel group. The NACNIM, according to Zelyang, had been unhappy with interlocutor A.K. Mishra for quote-unquote omitting some of the politically important points. Now, through the committee, the centre set have reassured the NACNIM that, that the solution to the decades-old insurgency issue will be sought out on the basis of the 2015 Framework Agreement. Remember, the Framework Agreement was signed to end insurgency in Nagaland, which has been centred around the demand for a greater Nagaland or Naga Lim for the Nagas. On day one of the talks on Wednesday, the two sides are said to have decided to defining the agreement, which itself has become a hurdle in the peace process given varying interpretations of certain phrases used in the agreement. Meanwhile, a controversy has erupted over the Meghalaya Regulation of Gaming Act 2021 and political parties and organizations from the Hill State have been urging the National People's Party-led government to scrap the act. The act, which was passed in February last year, legalizes gambling and online betting for tourists and even casinos have been allowed as a part of this. Last week, at an NPP party meet, the Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad Sangma said that following retribution from NGOs and the church, the government had decided to put on hold the setting up of these casinos in the state. But despite this, opposition parties like the Trinamool Congress have hit out saying that the entire act should be scrapped. George B. Lingdo, a TMC MLA from Umroy, said that the act will have wide-ranging implications on youths of the state. Then, a day after he made this comment, the Hinu Trap Youth Council and organization representing the Khasi tribal people demanded that the act be repealed and instead laws relating to the prohibition of gambling activities be strengthened instead. So far, Deputy Chief Minister President Tinsing has defended the act, saying that the government has merely brought in some rules and regulations around such activities. Also, Assam's Chief Minister Himantubisha Sharma met with his Mizoram counterpart Zoram Thanga in Delhi on Wednesday to discuss the border dispute issue. During the meeting, the two chief ministers reviewed the ministerial talks which had been held last month between Assam's Border Affairs Minister Atul Bora and Mizoram Home Minister Lal Chamliani. Sharma also told reporters that the state governments are in the process of forming a regional committee to resolve the border issues between the two states. This dispute between Assam and Mizoram has been a long-ranging one and stems over two very different versions of the state boundary. Now, while Mizo officials argue that the state's boundary dates back to an 1875 notification, according to the Assam government, the boundary between the states was established by a map drawn by a British survey of India in 1933. Also, in other news, 17 Bangladeshi nationals have been arrested in Assam's Bishunar district for violating their Visa norms, the police said on Sunday. Assam's Director General of Police, Bhaskar Jyoti Mohanto, said that the police had received a tip-off about the Bangladeshi nationals who had supposedly come on tourist visas, but, he said, when the police questioned them, they were found to be engaging in religious preaching, which is said to be in, in violation of visa provisions. In the past several months, the Assam police has been cracking down on individuals who have alleged links with jihadi outfits, and so far, 40 people, including a madrasa teacher, have been arrested for allegedly harboring links to the Ansarullah Bangla team, a terror outfit based in Bangladesh, and the Al-Qaeda in the Indian subcontinent, another prescribed group. And finally, a one-of-a-kind floating exhibition is taking place at Manipur's famous Loktak Lake. As many as 88 Manipuri language creatives of 8 years of Seva, Sushasan, Garib, Kalyan and around 11 creatives of Manipuri freedom fighters were on display at the exhibition. I'll leave you with the visuals of the floating exhibition.